Hi, hello, how are you? If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Maya. If you're not new here, welcome back, girl. What's happening? Today, as you can see from the title, we are opening our September BoxyCharm box. She's a thicky box again. What I will say is that this month's box came real late, like real late. Um, and I don't really understand why, because I thought that shipping would be quicker. If you're taking money out of my account on the first of the month, every month, I should be getting the package like within the first like two weeks of the month. I shouldn't have to wait so long. Come on, BoxyCharm, do better. But anyways, I ha I washed my face. I haven't done my skincare routine at all, just in case that there may be something in the box so my face is feeling real dry and crusty. But I'm gonna wait until we go through this box to see if there's anything for me to use. Let's get into it. BoxyCharm BTS, it's looking very backstage. This is literally what it looks like when I have a makeup gig, I'm not even lying, like everything everywhere, absolute mess. So that's a good representation, honestly. So first off, we have this Elena Badreau, Elena Badreau Baby Blues set. Let's see what's in here. It's like a, almost feels like leather. Uh, this retails for $58. What is in here that's $58? It's so small. This is $58. This is $58. Okay, so we've got this smaller flat brush. We've got this big blendy brush. And then we've got this like soft contouring brush for $58. Whatever, BoxyCharm already knows I would never spend that much money on a three brush set. So let's just keep it moving. Next up, we have this Georgette Klinger Marula Primer. Uh, this retails for $32. It's got a blend of marula oil, vitamins A, E, F, and B, and locks in moisture. Whoa, it like squirted out all over me. It doesn't smell like anything though. Yeah, almost no scent whatsoever. Fragrance free, so that makes sense. Next up, we've got this big boy. This Glam Glow Youth Mud Glow Stimulating and Exfoliating Treatment Mask. This retails for $60. I do love me some Glam Glow. They've almost never led me in the wrong direction and I love their face masks. So this is real nice. It says, hello, sexy. Hello, Glam Glow. Now, this, for this big box, okay, it smells good. It smells like fresh and clean and I love that. I'm gonna put that on right now before I even finish. Let me grab a brush. I just came back from a music festival, a three day music festival called Governor's Ball. And I wore my makeup obviously all three days in the sun. And my makeup, my face is definitely upset with me about it. So maybe this mask is not a bad idea. While this is drying, oh my god, I got it all up in my hair. I hate that. So while this is drying casually, I'm just gonna go through the rest of the box. Next up, we have Real Her I Define Beauty Myself Moisturizing Lipstick. This retails for $18, and I have the color I Define Beauty Myself Dusty Pink. Ooh, this mask is cold. Well, I have my fan on, so it's like feeling cold. And it's starting to tingle a little bit, which the instructions said it was supposed to. It's just like, mm, must be working. So this is the, this is the lipstick, kind of cute. This is the color, let's see. It's like a mauve pink kind of color. 
definitely moisturizing. I'll see how that feels on the lips. And last but not least, we have Saint Lux Brow Gel. Um, this retails for $22. It's in clear and it just looks like this. Cute and small. That's the applicator, pretty regular. I was running out of my eyebrow gel, so it's like BoxyCharm always knows when to restock a bitch. So shout out to you, BoxyCharm. I'm gonna let this sit on my face for another five minutes, wash it off, and then I'll be back with the review. Okay, so brows are filled, eyes are primed. I do have to say that this face mask is really, really good. One thing I will say is that it is a little bit rough on the skin. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but my face is a little bit red from the scrubbing. What I would suggest is doing this before you get in the shower. It's a little, probably going to be easier to take off if you wet your whole face at once and scrub. For me, I have a really small sink, so I had to like pat on the water and like do it in sections, which was really annoying. Um, it is a little bit rough, but honestly, my skin feels super smooth and super clean, honestly. Like, uh, my skin was really going through it this weekend and my pores look clean and I'm happy. So A plus for this mask. Now for today's look, I'm going to be recreating a look on Chloe Bailey from her music video have mercy it's a pink look i will put the picture here maybe for this i'm gonna be using the strawberry dream palette from lunar beauty and i'm gonna be taking the colors pink flash and cloudy and putting them all over my eye and i'm gonna be testing out this elena bedro blending brush so let's just get right into it I mean, it's a nice brush, it's pretty soft, it's blending pretty nice. This eyeshadow already blends very well, so I wasn't really gonna have any doubts. I mean, it's just a blending brush, like, there's nothing really crazy or new or innovative about it. It's literally just a blending brush. I'm gonna finish this, and then I'll be back to try out this flat one, so, BRB. So next up, I'm gonna take the shade Storm Cloud and do, like, a little bit of a winged liner. I mean, it's just a simple like eyeliner, eyebrow brush. Nothing fancy, nothing innovative. Don't understand why the whole set is $58. That just really, but whatever. All right, so we've got some rhinestone action going. Here it is, here it is, lots of shiny. Next up, I'm gonna use the Marula Primer from Georgette Klinger. Something I can say right off the bat is that it's very smooth. I know it said it was hydrating, but it definitely feels hydrating. It's very wet, like water. Um, it's not sticky at all, and I usually like to use kind of sticky primer so that the makeup will basically just have something to stick onto. This is not that. Um, it definitely gives the skin a nice little hydrated glow but I don't know it, it's not like it minimized my pores or anything my face just feels a little bit more moisturized and like a little bit more wet so all right well what do I got next ah uh, this I will be using for bronzer and or blush, so I guess I'll see you at that step. See you in a bit. All right, I'm back here. My base is on. So now I'm gonna use this little Elena Badro, 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 whatever the book brush. It's very soft, I will say. I'm gonna put some bronzer on and see how this baby works. Okay, so one thing I will say is that it takes a lot to blend because the brush is so, I don't want to say flimsy, but it's so soft that like you can't, you everything like blends out, like it's blending into my skin fully. And for my bronzer, I like a more dense type of brush and something bigger that just like goes all over my face because this could take me absolutely forever 
to do because it's so small and doesn't cover enough of my face. Yeah, this is taking way too long. Um, I should have used it as a blush brush, honestly, because there's barely any on me and this has taken like a full five minutes. All right, so I cleaned it off a little bit. I'm gonna dip into a blush and see how this works as a blush brush because this as a bronzer brush was just not it. Way better, way better as a blush brush than a bronzer blush. A bronzer brush. It's soft and fluffy, it can build, yeah this for sure okay so now i'm gonna use this saint lux brow gel let's just see how it works see what it does honestly i just feel like clear brow gel is clear brow gel i use like a clear brow gel mascara from elf and i feel like it kind of does the same thing unless a brow gel has hold to it where it's like a real gel and you can like fluff up your brows with it or do like soap brows with it that's the only difference i ever see in a brow gel otherwise it's just a gel like it's just a clear like this is not doing anything special for my brows and for it to cost 22 dollars i don't know i'll just stick with the elf one Honestly, we're almost to the finish line. I feel like this video has been really long for some reason. Maybe it's because it's just taken me so long to do it, but here we are. I put on some lip liner. This is um, NYX lip liner in Nude Truffle. And now I'm gonna go in with this Real Her moisturizing lipstick. Okay, first of all, super comfortable, super like wearable. It doesn't even feel like there's anything on my lips. It's pretty similar to the color of my lips, so that's pretty cool. Mm, it feels really, really good. This is this is bomb. This is bomb. I'm really happy about this lip color. So cute, and it goes with the look perfectly. Literally perfect. Wow. So this is the full beat. Get into it. Get into it. Today's boxy charm was worth a hundred and ninety dollars. Um, that's really fucking good. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna put it out there. That is one of the most expensive boxes I've gotten in a while as well, and honestly, totally worth it. The mask was amazing. My skin feels really, really good. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing makeup right now. And honestly, my pores feel really, really clean. I really liked that. Second of all, the brushes, I don't really think that they're worth $58 as a set. That number just like doesn't really make sense to me because they're just some like regular ass brushes. Go to BH Cosmetics, go to Morphe, go to fucking Ulta. Elf Cosmetics has great brushes that are like three to five dollars. Please don't spend your money on a really expensive brush because that's just, just unnecessary entirely. The primer felt really, really good on my face and honestly my face looks really good. Like I didn't use a different foundation or anything. I just used this new primer and my face looks bomb. My pores do actually look visibly smaller and my skin just looks really good like the eyebrow gel was cool i don't know if i'd spend 22 dollars on an eyebrow gel knowing that elf has like a five dollar one an eyebrow gel is an eyebrow gel like whatever also this lipstick bomb super comfortable to wear love the color overall i'm so so happy with this month's boxy charm and this look came out really cute thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please make sure to like and subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought what you did or didn't like about today's video remember constructive criticism is always welcome just don't be a hater ho again thank you so much for watching i hope you have a good night or day wherever you are whatever time it is that you're watching this and I'll see y'all in the next one.